What's going on guys, my name is Matt Omega and welcome back to the Pokedex Quest Gen 1 with Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we got here to Vermilion City and we did some serious strengthening of our team. At level 16, our Abra, Shikamaru, I did not mean to teleport. Well, this is going just great. <laughs> How Abra Shikamaru evolved into Kadabra. But uh, more importantly, at level 20, our, our poor old Magikarp Shenron finally became the dragon that is going to grant all our wishes. It is the Gyarados. Uh, also off screen, I gave it Bubble Beam just to give it a water type attack, which I'll be replacing at some point. I think you have an idea as to what may that, that might be. Well, I can't speak. Um, and I guess it's a good thing I teleported away, because I get to show this off. We also got our bicycle! And we can now traverse the Kanto region at a much more rapid pace, and I'm very much thankful for that. In any case, in this episode, we are going to the SSN. Because, as you'll recall, uh, when we went to go see Bill, he gave us a ticket to the SSN, but, uh, didn't want to come because he's a recluse. Although I understand how he feels. <laughs> the passengers are restless, yeah. A lot of the passengers on this ship are indeed trainers. And there are a lot of them. But only... There's only one battle on this ship that's actually mandatory, but... Uh, where's the fun in that? So, what we're going to do is we're going to speed things up. And we're going to take on every single trainer here, because... Uh, DK needs it. DK above all, because he is going to be the star player in our, our next gym battle, which I hope we'll get to by the end of the episode. I think we will. But, without further ado, let's get things started.
Ah, that was, uh, that was a lot. But, uh, we made it. But now that we've made it, we've got one more thing to take care of. One thing that we're probably not looking forward to, not very fond of. I think you guys know what's coming up. Uh, all my Pokemon are right. Oh, let's get this over with, because it's that guy. Hey, that guy. Why are you suddenly trying to be French? There's my Pokedex coming along. It's going great. And How many have I caught? I'm going to check that as soon as this battle's over. As soon as this battle is finished, I'm checking how many Pokemon I've caught. Alright. But, uh, starting off the fight with that guy, and, uh, first thing I know, he's got a new battle sprite. Ah. Do I want to switch out? I probably do. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I, I'm i gonna let Shenron take care of this. Uh. Shenron, I think, has yet to have a good battle. Uh, I think I brought him out for one thing last episode, maybe. But, uh... This, 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 this is gonna be better. Alright, time to uh, test out the new Bubble Beam. Damn. Go Shenron. <laughs> Radata. I will bring DK back out because that thing deserves to be destroyed. It's like I keep telling everyone I've ever met, Radita sucks. <laughs> and it's like I have constantly said to youngster Joey, there's no such thing as a top percentage of Radita. I don't want to bring Shenron out again, I don't want to give Shikamaru a turn. Ah, eh, Shikamaru can handle it. Sandshrew. Not too big of a threat. Case in point. Alright. So, let's finish this off. Now, if memory serves... Yeah, it's still an Eevee. So, I'll bring DK back out. Yeah, I am most definitely favouring DK, but uh, I want DK to get as many levels as possible before the gym battle. Just in case. I don't even see the point of using Growl at this stage. <laughs> there! We thrashed him. Yep. At least I'm raising mine. Hmm. <laughs> you just dug yourself a grave there. Yeah, cuts. Uh, let's get into that. So, up here. We got a book. I can't read it from here. Book. How to conquer seasickness. The captain's reading this. The captain is reading a book on how to conquer seasickness. Ugh. Dude. You are a captain. You are the captain of a ship. And you get seasick. Really? Ugh. Wait, I what? Um... I don't want to be rub-rubbing anything, thank you very much. I'm not sure how that immediately conquered seasickness, and honestly, why can't I just do that to my own Pokemon to heal them? I mean, I heard the Pokemon Center jingle and everything. Don't read into that. <laughs> anyway, this guy is about to give us our very first HM. So, HM stands for Hidden Machine, and uh, HMs uh, allow us to, like TMs, teach a move to our Pokemon, but um, an HM never runs out of uses, and in this generation, 
That move cannot be uh, replaced by any other move. Later generations would um would um, come up with the service to allow us to actually remove those moves, but uh, not here. So be careful of who you actually uh, give those eight gems to. But not only that, HMs are moves that we are able to use outside of battle for various purposes. Bye bye SSN. But yeah, um, now as you may have seen earlier after getting some of the badges, um, the gym leaders said that uh, we'd be able to use certain moves outside of battle. Those are HM moves. And uh, Cuts is the first one of them. Now I need to go and grab a Pokemon that I want to use Cuts. Mm. Now, if I've counted right, yeah, the box is full. Uh, first I'll withdraw a Pokemon. Now who do I want to use Cut? Um, who do I want to use? <laughs> uh, Charmander fans are gonna tear me to pieces. <laughs> and I still won't give a damn. <laughs> so, I'll deposit my Dug Tree because I haven't done that yet for some reason. But it's a good thing I ran into that problem now because now that our box is filled, and this generation is 20 Pokemon per box, now we need to change the box. This is something they would fix in later generations, where it would switch boxes on its own, but here we need to do it manually, and it's stupid. Stupid by the fact that if we don't change a box before we catch another Pokemon, if our party is full, we're losing that Pokemon. Sucks to be you if it's a legendary. Ugh. Now, uh, I am going to teach this HM to Charmander. And uh, I haven't used a TM on screen before either, so uh, this is pretty much the same basic thing. Just choose a Pokemon to teach it to, and they'll learn it. You may have to replace them if they already have four, but uh, yeah. Um, how far away is DK from his next level? Uh, fair bit. Hmm. Do I want to use my rare candy? Mm. Now, I'll start tackling the gym and see how it goes. So, um, I'm gonna meet you guys over by the gym. I'm gonna heal up really quick. Alright, now down here by the gym, now that we finally have the move for cuts, we can actually put it into action on these small trees. Now, you'll remember these, we've seen them pretty much all over the place, now we can finally get rid of them, and um, a lot of the places that we've already been to have just become a bit more open to us. But, for the time being, let's start tackling our third gym, the Vermilion City Gym. The leader, Lieutenant Surge, the Lightning American. You know, in the time when um, they tried to canonize a Pokemon world as being in the real world, they quickly retconned this next generation. <laughs> Anyway, let's talk to my favorite guy in the world. I love it when he calls me the champ in the making. It just fills me with so much confidence. I feel like I can do it. <laughs> hey, the Lightning American, for some reason. I won't be referring to that for much longer. It's more of a Lightning... Unovian. Unovian? Unovan? I don't know. Anyway, Lieutenant Surge uses electric types. This is why DK is going to be my star player. He is the only one who knows a ground type move. Ground being electric's only weakness. That's part of the reason why electric is actually my favorite type. But uh, let's start tackling this gym, starting with you. It's no place for kids, apparently. Good thing I'm 19. <laughs> Although, game me is like 10. That presents a problem. <laughs> Alright, so let's start taking on this gym. Oh, Magnemite. 
Magnemite is one of my personal favorite electric types. Really great Pokemon from Gen 2 onward when it actually gets its uh, steel type. Yeah, it really sucks that steel doesn't exist yet, but uh, eh, what are you going to do? This generation did a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> Alright, next trainer. And, okay, this guy's a rocker, so obviously this is music based. I am not too sure what he's holding. It looks... Like, honestly, with that sprite work, to me, it looks like he's just holding a whip the wrong way. If that's supposed to be a microphone or something, I can't see it. <laughs> uh, someone's gonna have to explain that to me. Hey, oh, Voltorbs. Ran one of these things on this ship, and uh, as you would have seen this better footage, it is uh, pretty nasty with the fact that it'll just blow itself up in your face. Ugh. Anyway, uh, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom is a pretty annoying move early game because uh, it always does 20 damage. And 20 is generally a pretty good percentage of what your Pokemon will actually have. Level 26. Awesome. Another Voltorb. Now, here's the question. Is it going to use Sonic Boom or is it going to blow up? Or is it going to screech? Or I'm going to outspeed it. Was not expecting that. Well, oh. things are already starting to come up, Matt. Getting a fair bit of experience. Am I going to level up again before I um, get to the leader? Alright, third verse, same as the first. Oh, actually, this sounds more like the second because I'm outspeeding it now. Yeah. Yeah, fair bit of experience. I should probably be sharing this with the rest of the team, but I really want to get through this gym with no troubles whatsoever. How much experience does that dick actually need? Ah! Right. Hmm. Do I even need to use the rare candy on him now? You know what? I'll, I'll press my luck. If by, by some stretch of chance I take yeah, yeah, DK manages to level up, before I face the gym leader, I'll use the red candy. Or oh, maybe not. Should I not? I probably should not. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, no, I can handle this. Yep, starting to think I really don't need to use that rare candy at all. Why am I still going on about this? I should be fine. <laughs> uh, either way, I didn't level up, but it's pretty close to level 27. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of good about this. Yeah, I'm going to go heal up, and then we're going to solve this gym's puzzle. Okay, now for the gym's puzzle, and this is going to be pretty annoying. Basically, here's how it works. We need to search these trash cans for a switch. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll find a switch. <laughs> um, basically, there are two switches we need to press to be able to get into the gym leader's room. The switches are placed completely at random. Or well, the first switch, anyway. When we find the first switch, the second switch is always in an adjacent trash can. It's a good thing I got it here, because that leaves me with two options. And I think I want to go with this one. This is the first time in living memory I've actually done this on my first attempt. I am very, very much pleased with myself. That being said, I should probably save here, because now that that's been so good to me, the gym is probably gonna fuck me up the ass. <laughs> that's how the Let's Play curse works. <laughs> Pint size, 
I'll have you know I'm 6'2", mate. <laughs> In any case... He's a very... Very, very... War-minded. And... <sighs> Do I want to make that joke? I mean, just look at him. Do I want to make that joke? Ah, screw it. I'm a sucker for overdone jokes. Hit it! <laughs> anyway, Lieutenant Surge. Now, in red and blue, he'll have a team of three. Here, he has a team of one. His right here. Let's see how well I fit. Because that. Jesus Christ. On. Yes! That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, focus energy. Hmm. Got this beeping. Basically, what focus energy does is that it increases your chances to land a critical hit. With Karate Chop, this really isn't of too much use to me, but you know what? It's better than Leo. I oh, please God make it stop. I nearly dropped that bottle. <laughs> yeah. We won. <laughs> In one hit. <laughs> Alright, and with that we get the Thunder Badge. Which increases the speed of our Pokemon, and it lets us use the HM for Fly, which we're not going to get for a while. And we get TM24, which is Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt. Alright. Now, I could end things here, but there's one, one last thing. Just one. Let's end the episode by getting another page for our Pokedex. As you recall, Officer Jenny here was having some trouble with some Squirtles. Now that we have the Thunder Badge, she will actually give us a Squirtle. So yeah, we got one of the Squirtle Squad Squirtles. <laughs> I don't want to give him a nickname to Squirtle. Alright, so let's look at our Pokedex entry. Uh, fortunately, we don't get the... Uh, really I don't know how to describe them looking glasses but uh, we get a Squirtle <laughs> the tiny turtle Pokemon shoots water at prey while in the water withdraws into its shell when in danger all right so with that I think it's time we end things off here so we conquered the SSN and the Vermilion gym and next time on let's play Pokemon yellow we are going to be going out this way and heading through Diglett's cave to do some stuff around Viridian, Viridian? Yeah, Viridian and Pewter that we couldn't before. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time guys, my name is Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.